All right, let's talk about the most proven, most durable battle optic in the world, not sponsored by Trigica. Welcome back everybody and yes, today we're here to talk about the world's most battle proven optic in its manufacture, Trigicon. When you look at the logo, Trigicon, you'll probably notice the TRI, which ultimately stands for tritium and icon at the end of the word. The J is just to add it, make it nice little flowing, you know, make the word come together as Trigicon. But if you look at the I sandwich with the J in the middle there, it gives you the entire three dot night setup there that you see on the Trigicon night sights, which are fantastic sights. So Trigicon actually started out as Armson USA back in 1981. Glenn Benden, who started that, reorganized the company in 1985, thus naming it Trigicon and started producing pistol night sights like what you see on my FNX 45 here and what comes standard on the FNX 45 tactical. I love these sights, especially the suppressor height ones. They just elevate it a little bit so that way you can actually see over a silencer that you might have mounted to your gun, which is a good thing to do to be able to actually, you know, line up your sights. So it's pretty sweet. And even if I'm not running a suppressor, I actually like running those sights just because of how natural they are to pick up. For me, at least, I'm a big fan of them. And yes, they are tritium filled, so therefore you do get, well, illumination in those low light settings, which is pretty freaking sweet. And as you can tell, we have a different lineup of uh, all sorts of Trigicon optics and some that aren't on the table just yet. So let's talk about the one that's really made Trigicon famous. And that, as of right now, is still the number one military optic, and that is the ACOG, the Advanced Combat Optical Gun Sight. It is dang near indestructible, and I say dang near as in almost indestructible because I've seen what a bunch of Marines can do to these guys, and well, it's amazing there's any piece of kit that any Marine owns that hasn't been destroyed yet. I'm sure something's been destroyed, whether it be vehicles, firearms, well, just about anything. Marines know how to destroy it. But anyway, what we've got right here is the four power ACOG. You have the fiber optic little wire that runs right on top of the optic that will increase the illumination whenever it's brighter outside. And you can actually see your reticle, which this one here utilizes the old style Chevron reticle. You can actually see it dim and brighten whenever you cover the fiber optic, which is pretty cool. And these are tritium filled. So even if it's completely pitch dark outside, you'll still be able to pick up pick up your reticle, whether it be through ambient light or super dark, you'll be able to pick it up, which is pretty sweet if you ask me, all right? And they're also nitrogen filled, so you never have to worry about them fogging. If yours starts to fog on you, your tritium starts to die or whatever else, well, Trigicon can actually replace all that and pretty much upgrade your ACOG for you. So, pretty sweet stuff. And like I said, the ACOG has been around for decades and is the most battle proven optic in the world. It is used by several countries throughout the world and they don't offer it just in the four power and for 5.56, they also, also offer it like in a three and a half power for 308. And you'll notice this one has a green fiber optic and is green illuminated. And this one is more of the horseshoe ACSS reticle, which is a fantastic reticle. And I really do love these optics. I actually like this one more, not just because of the green illumination, but because of the eye relief. That is the one thing I think I dislike most about the ACOG. So let's take a look at like the Geisley Super Duty that we have right here that's just FDE'd completely out just about and the eye relief on the Trigicon ACOG that you see right here. So this is still a four power ACOG. This one does have the green reticle and all that type of fun stuff on it. But if you notice, I actually need to remove my hat, which a lot of you guys apparently, if you watch our Outside the Warehouse channel, you've never seen me take my hat off before. So now I you might not be welcome, but whatever. Anyway, if you take a look at the eye relief on this guy to get a proper side alignment and eye relief on the ACOG. So I want you guys to take a look at how close I have to be to this optic. Granted, if I want to use the RMR, 
I don't have to be that close, but because it sits higher up on the optic itself and higher up on the gun, I have to completely remove any type of chin weld or cheek weld to get proper sight alignment. So that is my biggest complaint about the ACOG is the eye relief. All right, now you guys can quit gawking at the fact that I removed my hat. But the three and a half power for whatever reason has, maybe it's because this optical lens back here is so much further out, has so much better eye relief. For instance, that's it right there. Perfect eye relief for me. Pretty cool. Other than that, that is my biggest complaint. Now, Glenn Benden, whoever, who started Trigicon, he came up with this thing called the Benden Aiming Concept, or BAC, not the blood alcohol content. The uh, Benden Aiming Concept is something that's pretty cool because even though you might have to get a little bit close and personal on that optic, if you keep both eyes open, and that is how this optic has been intended to shoot, is with both eyes open, you can still pick up with your non-dominant eye all of everything that's happening around you and also the reticle on your ACOG and still be able to get quick, fast, accurate shots off without having to worry about focusing or getting that tunnel vision by looking just down the scope itself. So very cool concept and I like it a lot and he found too that it works best with illuminated reticles. And so I practiced that or use that in theory not with just ACOGs, but with just about any other type of illuminated reticle magnified optic that I will be running. So pretty sweet setup. Definitely a fan of the ACOG. It has, I mean, you can drop these things, you can do a whole lot to them and they're going to hold zero. They are combat proven. What can I say? Now, funny little story about the ACOG and some of the optics that were used in combat. In 2010, there was a news article that came out that shined light and you'll see why this is a pun here in just a moment, shined light on the fact that just about all of Trijicon's products actually had a Bible verse inscribed on the optics themselves. And well, you can see that on a lot of commercial optics that are still being produced and sold because they still do that on a lot of the commercial optics. However, on their military contracted optics, it started this real big political correctness debate and ultimately to keep their government contracts with not just the United States, but with many other countries in the world that use Trijicon products, they had to remove these verses. And you would typically see the Bible verse, like what you see on my ACOG right here. This is an older one that was a military contract. And you can see there's this inscription right down here, just below the optic itself and just above the mount, all right? So this one right here is John chapter eight, verse 12. Uh, you can even see on the RMR right here, which is a great pistol red dot. Uh, this one right here is second Peter chapter one, verse 19. You can see that inscribed right up top. Very cool. And you'll notice this ACOG, which is also a military contracted ACOG. This one actually has the verse scrubbed out of it. You can see that right there. So after 2010, I think it was after January 22nd of 2010, Trijicon said, fine, we'll remove that and provide the tools to have the verse removed on optics already in the armory for the military. So that was done. And even still like on my Trijicon Credo, that is the magnified optic that I have right here. That is a variable powered optic. I've got it on the bottom of this one. This one being Psalm 119, verse 105. All of these have references to light and illumination, which I think is pretty cool. Personally, I think it's pretty awesome. All right, so pretty sweet stuff. Again, Trijicon doing what they can to make everybody happy. And of course, still in the commercial market, you'll still find those Bible verses on your Trijicon products. But military contracted products, you will not. So if you look at like this ACOG here that is on the Geisley Super Duty, you'll see that it just has ACOG 4x32 for referring to the magnification power 30 by the objective lens diameter. So there you have it. Now, of course, outside of the three and a half power and the four power ACOGs, you've also got a five power ACOG. And it looks like, excuse me while I make some room. And it looks like a whole lot of optic for just five power, but it works, especially on a 50 cal like this right here. This 
is a super comfortable setup for the Barrett M107, especially if you needed to use this for more uh, close quarter engagements, because you still could go with a red dot offset maybe. Let me know if you'd like to see that as a uh, giveaway combo. I think that'd be pretty fun, honestly. But uh, yeah, if you're not running and gunning with your 50 cal, are you even running and gunning? Hmm. But anyway, this one just simply says ACOG on it. But yes, that right there is a five power ACOG. Five power, right? Five and a half power. Five and a half power by 50. So, woo, that is a thick boy. And yes, it can handle the recoil of a 50 cal. It can handle the recoil of a SCAR without any issues whatsoever. They're just quality proven. They're proven reliable Trigicon optics, all right? Okay. Now, not only are they in the business for magnified optics, obviously we've talked about the RMR, which is a fantastic pistol red dot, which you can also utilize as an offset, like what we have done on the SCAR giveaway you see right here. So you could be aiming down your magnified optic and then switch over really quick and have that 45 degree offset, or you can have it sitting on top, like what you see on the Geisley Super Duty again. It really is the choice is yours. There's so many different mounting options out there for this little guy that it really does make it easy for you to set up your rifle or AR pistol or whatever it is you plan to run or scar or whatever. Uh, you can set it up however you like it and whatever the most ergonomic is for you. So for instance, for a right-handed shooter, this would be great. However, if I did need to switch to my weak hand, it would be easy enough, but not as ergonomic or comfortable to switch to that RMR. So maybe having it sitting on top of the optic or on top of your magnified optic would be preferred. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think about that. All right, don't fall, that would be weird. Anyway, so yeah, they've got a lot of magnified optics, which are fantastic. They've got the red dots, which I'm a big fan of, and you'll notice some of them Compare the RMR that I have on my FNX to the one that is sitting here on top of the ACOG, you'll notice this one doesn't have any adjustment buttons on it to turn on or off or increase or decrease your brightness as to where this one does. Well, that's because this one is just always on. You never have to worry about it. it has a fantastic battery life still, and on top of that, it has an automatic brightness adjustment. So if you're in a bright room like it is right now, it increases its brightness. If you dim it down, you can literally watch it dim down. It's pretty cool. And typically, some manufacturers don't get it right. Either it's gonna to be too bright when it's very bright or not bright enough when it's too dark or whatever it might be. Trojicon has done obviously excellent work and a lot of research to figure out how to get the appropriate brightness settings for your environment. Excellent job. So if you guys can't tell, I'm a Big fan of Trojicon. They just make good stuff. I just wish the ACOG that I'm issued and the one that I still play with a lot here on the civilian side of things, I just wish they had a little bit better eye relief. And again, is why I kind of prefer the three and a half power, but this one right here that I have specifically right now in front of me is 308 dedicated. So on the SCAR, on the Nemo that we have, and on a POF that we might have laying around, that would be perfect, right? Or an AR-10, whatever else, you know? Because then your bullet drop compensation is set up for 308. Sweet. If you don't care about any of that and you're just going to use the center dot anyway, then sure, throw it on whatever gun you want. I mean, it's your optic, your gun, do what you want, right? But outside of everything that illuminates itself and pistol dots and everything else, they also make fantastic red dots, like the MRO that you see here on the IWI Zion pistol. The MRO I think is probably one of the best red dots on the market, personally. I really love how rugged and durable this optic is. Red dots traditionally are nowhere near as tough as holographics because of just simply how their systems work. But for a red dot, this guy right here is gonna give you a better battery life. It's also gonna have a crisper and cleaner reticle. And secondly, because it's Trigicon and the housing they put it in, super durable. Utilizes just your standard little 2032 battery, little, little watch battery, so they're easy enough to come by. Not super expensive or anything. Sorry, that's always just a force of habit, just a, you know, whatever. But uh, anyway, the red dots on these guys are cool. They also come with a series or different configurations of reticle. You can have just a simple red dot, or you can have a little donut of death with a red dot in the middle. Fantastic setup. My only complaint about this red dot is depending on 
how you look at this guy. You can see kind of a bit of a reflection of maybe like the microchip or, or the reflector that is shooting the image of the reticle itself onto that front glass. You can kind of get that a little bit, depending on where your sight picture is, depending on how you have it aligned, you can kind of see that. But if you're not really focusing on that, you're just aiming and shooting, it works out great. Honestly, I don't pick it up when I'm actually shooting. It's just whenever I'm being nitpicky like I am right now, I can kind of focus on it and see it. But if I'm actually sending rounds downrange, I, I never see it. So it's probably not even worth mentioning, but I figured I'll be completely 100% with you guys. And yes, if you want, they even have a magnifier. This is a three power magnifier. Go ahead and throw this guy on here. Boop, just like that. And now you've got three power magnification on this guy. So if you need to identify a target a little bit further away, you can just flips off to the side when you don't want to use it, flip it back on over. And that's just a standard mount that it comes with. And speaking about mounts, Trigicon has your standard little screw down mount like that right there. But also too, <laughs> this is a very cool mount that is a QD called the Bobro mount that Trigicon has. And you just hit this little button right here and this guy flips right on open and now your ACOG just swings right off. And there you have it. The other mount that you probably saw earlier on mine is a LaRue tactical mount for the RCO, the rifle combat optic. And this is something that is approved by the Marine Corps. They even have a cute little thing. It says, uh, where is it? RCO Simplify. Thanks guys, you're the best. So there you have it, Trigicon. They just make super sweet, awesome, <laughs> uh, Optics, what, what more can I say? They work, they've been proven, they're reliable. Galil. And uh, I, there's not much more I could ask for them. Are they expensive? Yes. Are they worth it? Absolutely. Are they gonna break on you? Probably not. Just don't let a Marine hold it for too long. Other than that, not much more I can really say about them. I'm definitely a fan. Like I said, the four power ones, I just wish I had a little bit better eye relief. Other than that, I'm happy with it. Now, with all that being said, we are giving away a Trigicon Optic with our SCAR giveaway that you see right here with the offset RMR, the T-Rex Arms 45 degree offset mount. We got the Vortex 1 to 10 Razor sitting with the Scholarworks mount, the Leap mount here, Mod Light, Mod Button, Kinetic Development Group, a Kinetic Development Group uh, M-Lock Rail with the angled foregrip and the Kinetic Development charging handle with the Kinetic Development Group. This is, a, this is a mouthful, this one. The KD ACR stock, which is super freaking cool. And the Troy Close Quarters Battle Axe grip, uh, grip, which is so much better than your A2 grip. Oh, and the Super Scar Trigger. I think I hit everything. This is definitely one of the coolest giveaways I think we've done so far. I definitely had a good time putting it together and running it at the range. So head on over to classicfirearms.com, check out our video announcing this as our current giveaway, and make sure you use the code word SCAR, S-C-A-R, to get a couple hundred extra entries. Don't miss out on that. I'll see you guys down in the comment section below all about Trigicon, what your experiences have been, what your thoughts are, and do you still think they're the most battle-proven optic in the world? Or do you think Sig Sauer is going to come in and scoop them away with the uh, LPVOs they got coming? Interesting stuff. Guys, as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. We'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.